Hey, it's Lily here with Talk Crypto to me. So today we're going to be discussing things from NFTs, crypto, tokens, everything with Mo Money. Mo Money, Mo Crypto, Mo NFTs. So we're going to be making more crypto money. <laughs> No one's making any more crypto money. <laughs> Actually, that is very true. Not right at the now, moment. Not at the no, moment. right now, the industry is pretty bad, right? It's a tough time to even talk about crypto. It's a good time oh, if you're a okay. believer. If you're a believer. If you're a believer, yeah. It's like be being a believer. I mean, everyone has their moments of being unsure, but... I know you're a big believer. Or not believer, <laughs> believer in crypto. Believer, I am. I am, actually. I For me... I mean, I just believe in the technology. I think if you really educate yourself, understand what's going on in the space, why it's so important, why people should get involved, the panic's not really there. Like, I don't wake up and stress. I don't look at my crypto accounts and think, Good oh, idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's the best way to do it. Just avoid looking at it and think to the future. Like, do I predict that in the next few months things are going to get better? The whole world is in a pretty bad place. Like, we, we're in a bubble. Crypto. It's not crypto. It's, oh, it's real estate, stocks. It's it's uh, China. It's war. It's everything. It's the whole yeah. world. We're in a little bubble here in Dubai <laughs> where we don't really see it. People don't really talk about the bad times, not yet. do they? Not yet. Not yet. Yeah, that's actually very true. We could we could start noticing it here, maybe in the real estate world. But there's just so much money in Dubai right now, right? That's also the thing. So some some people have two sides to it. Some people are saying, oh, there's recession. Obviously, there is recession on the whole world. It's collapsing. There's no gas. There's uh, housing. There's interest rates. There's the Fed. All of this, obviously, you all know. We mm -hmm. all know. And then people are saying, oh, yeah, but there's Dubai. It's in their own bubble. And it's not. nothing's going to happen. So there's one scenario. One is where Dubai, like usually the case, not just Dubai, the whole Gulf is like a delay of six to eight months or 12 mm -hmm. months delay from when everyone suffers. And then the suffrage comes back here. That's option A, like in 2008, or option B, Dubai actually remains it's in, in its own bubble and it only attracts the people who aren't, aren't affected around the world, mm -hmm. which are the wealthy, to come mm -hmm. here. Which we see here all the time, right? Like you've got a lot of Russian money here now. You've got a lot of influencers being here and they're, they're obviously spending money, bringing in more people all the time. We have tourism a lot more than most other places. I mean, being from London, you don't necessarily feel the need to go to London. Yeah, I mean, what do you mean? We have the embassy here in uh, Five Palm. Yeah, we actually do. We basically have the UK <laughs> is in Dubai. There's not as many Americans, actually. No, why? Yeah, well, cause, Where are you guys? Yeah, I, I, I meet like the token American and I'm like, oh my God, you made it across. When I meet an American, I'm like, okay, hold on. What's your number? <laughs> yeah. What's your name? Some guys, they're like feel creeped out i'm like no no by the way like I'm, i like women but it's just you're the only you american sure now after hey, this relax. you don't have a bit of an american <laughs> fetish really like. an Amer any american person i meet i make sure to get their contact and their number and like but i had this discussion actually with an american and we were saying that like obviously i'm like whoa it's tax-free here for us brits but how does it work as an american coming from america here you still have to pay tax back in the u.s right if you're only american if you own okay if you're, so you're american that's why we don't get many americans Americans, right? Uh, maybe. Maybe. No, no, but the thing is, if, I don't know. It's tough. Yeah, because it is expensive here, but you still have to pay taxes. Now, unless you I have... I think a, it's crazy you still have to pay tax in, in America. And the same amount of taxes. Yeah. But you're not living there. And you don't have to live and there. And then you come somewhere like this and they're like, oh, no tax at all. Well, basically, we have a, a few, few ways of taxation and how expensive it is here. But other than that, we don't really notice it. And then we have crypto here as well. True. Which again, which sort also of helps mitigates that, allows payments to happen. So, how has recent times been for you in terms of? Could you launch an NFT? I did in the bear market. I did launch an NFT. I uh, well, first, I, I my first jump into crypto wasn't too long ago, actually. Okay. A friend of mine in November introduced it to me. Shout out, Faris. I was always like into it, like I'd like to know about it, but I never knew how to do a wallet. I knew never knew anything. So if mm -hmm. I was like, yo, open up, put a couple thousand dollars. I'm like, okay. Where did he tell you to put your money in? Because if he said FTX, then we are not loving you. All the good runner. stuff, all the good stuff. Okay. I did make money with it, mm -hmm. but uh, did that for a little while. And then Luna came. Yeah. I, I wasn't invested into Luna. Okay. Funny, it was so bad. It's a very horrible story. But he introduced me to a friend, of my, a, his friend, Mm -hmm. old friend of his crypto guy which i became friends with which then started giving me tips on what to what to do and forgot to tell him his original friend what to do so 
So you got all the benefits and the original, the OG, ended up being ruined. He got screwed, yeah, because he didn't get, forgot, I don't know why, but he didn't tell him oh. Luna was failing. But mm-hmm. he remember he told me, obviously he told me Luna was failing because I was putting the money down and I was giving him percentage okay. for his calls. Okay. So obviously in his mind, like, oh, Luna's crashing, I'll make money. But if mm-hmm. he didn't think about, I guess he didn't think about telling him. Yeah. And I didn't think about telling him because I didn't know how much Luna he was holding. So my friend... Uh, <laughs> You know who you are. He calls me up. He wakes me up in the morning. Luna was at 100 something. He's like, Luna is crashing. Let's short. I don't know what a short is. Mm-hmm. Like, I have no idea what that is. I know how to buy Ethereum from Binance. That's it. He's like, get up. I was like, no, I don't know what it is. I don't want to do it. He kept calling me every hour. Finally, by like 2 p.m., I think it was like at 60. And he's like, bro, please, if you trust me, let's just do it. So I ended up doing it, not knowing what the hell was going on. Taking All a, I saw was the, risk. the 60 going down and, and then, then my money going up. And I'm like, whoa. And it shorted it all the way down to $1.50. Wow. Yeah. So you actually did make, you made money out of it. Without Luna. knowing, yeah, what the hell is going on. <laughs> so, That's the type of advice you need. It's like people that really know what they're up but to. But the another messed up thing is which i didn't take his advice on this is that it kept going down if you remember it went under a dollar 50 mm-hmm. right and then i'm at least smart enough to put a stop loss i know what a stop loss is right at yeah. least i know that so i put my stop loss at a dollar 50 he told me not to he's like it might bounce but it's gonna go to zero trust me trust me trust me i'm like no dollar 50 i'm good with that stop loss it went down and i don't know if you remember but it bounced up to yep, four dollars yeah i would have been liquidated i would have been i would have cried so at least you, so you made and did he did he didn't take your advice he did he no it was his. my money he was just okay. getting a percentage from okay it. so actually yeah you it's good to i made to the guns. executive decision yeah. and i said no i'm good with losing i'm making this much yeah and, and that's it that's all i need to make i think that's what a lot of people need to know in crypto is that if you are doing well know cut when to get out your not even yeah. cut your loss cut your cut win wins. short yeah yeah, yeah. you're happy with making a certain amount of money don't Do be greedy. Not, don't yeah, be greedy. Exactly. Don't be greedy. And don't panic. Like, as I say, at the moment, everyone I speak to that I'm like, oh, I have a crypto podcast. They're like, oh, how's that going? Like, no one's talking about that right now. Yeah, but guess what? The people who are talking about it right now and the people who stick to it are going to be the people who shine. And then the people that are now talking shit mm-hmm. later and be like, oh. Oh, that's why you guys stuck to it yeah exactly this is the time to be like building foundations growing and looking to the future because there is such a big future in the industry there's so much potential just because we're in the bear market just because everything in the world right now is not great doesn't mean that when we're starting to enter the metaverse in maybe five to ten years all of these things are going to be so necessary that we're going to be thinking, well, why were we doubting it back then? Why why did we ever really doubt it? We're going to be it? looking at your videos and be like, exactly. how did we doubt We're her? going to be legendary videos. So we're <laughs> going to, they're going to look back and say, well, they look a bit different, but they're talking, they're, what they're saying means sense. Actually, I might look the same, but you know. Of we, course you will, of we'll, course. We'll, we'll, we'll see about that. Living in Dubai, there's there's no option but to try and look After the same. After this weekend, I don't know. I don't oh, know if yeah, we can I mean, keep the F1. That was a funny point as well. The F1, the FTX wristbands, did you have a little look at that for the Rich so list. my friend is is uh, Bally, who's mm-hmm. Rich List, owner of Rich List. Yeah. So obviously, he was very hyped up about that, about FTX. Da, da. I actually haven't spoken to him about what happened. But yeah, I wonder how. And, yeah. I don't know. He has been so busy. I didn't even see him that day. Because there was it was just everywhere like on the wristband. I meant to keep my wristband, and then guess what? Somehow it went missing because I went missing because I didn't know where it was half the time. But it, I found it hilarious. I was like, I wonder how, if whether the money was actually ever transferred over. Was it the, the, the Formula One that it was the demise of FTX? They just didn't have the money. There's a lot of things tied up with it. So God knows. I mean, yeah, I'm sure they've been sponsoring a lot of different stuff and it's, yeah, it's a, it had a massive impact. But let's talk about your NFT. So you had your NFT Oh yeah, that drop. leads me to my yeah. next, uh, to my next venture after learning crypto shorting luna and then i got into crypto and got into leverage trading i was very interested in it took some courses learned what you know your ta i'm sure you mm-hmm. know that stuff right yeah. learned that did really well uh and then despite being bear market we still i still launched a nft Which project is bold because most people as i say bear market people panic it was a free mint so the, the okay. mint it's called the meta so like the theme of what was happening at the moment was free mint so why did you choose free mint because it was the meta so you okay. know how you sometimes it's like anime or or a, a cartoon or mm-hmm. 3d like there's certain phases of what does really well in the nft mm-hmm. market 
And at that time, it was free mint free because mint. it was a bear market and everyone's broke. So free mint, no problem. Of course, there's the gas fees. Um, but even free mints were not selling out. So like one out of 100 free mints would sell out. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we were one of them that sold out in like 12 hours. So you've got the magic recipe of how to do well and sell, well, not sell an NFT, but actually get people to, to mint them. It's not a magic recipe. It's just, it's an algorithm that you need to follow. Same with social media, same with anything. It's just, uh, it's not a magic recipe. It's just a matter of the certain things you have to do. Okay. And if you actually do them. I guess Twitter is very important, making sure you have a great a Twitter. So you need, first of all, before Twitter and Discord or anything, you need a solid team. Mm-hmm. Because there's been way too many scams. I'm sure you've seen scams every yeah, day, so all many. day, 24-7. Mm-hmm. There's more scams than there are actual projects. Yeah, definitely. So thousands of projects, the hundreds of projects launching every day. And the utilities that you hear, I mean, you sit there and you think that's just untrue. Or it just doesn't make any sense. Why are you even creating this NFT? It's getting to the point where it's like you have to only invest in companies that are bringing you real utility, real life utility, that have a real team. Mm -hmm. who's the ceo what has he done before who's the tech team who's the dev team they have to be uh non-anonymous what do you call that um it's more centralized yeah docs Mm -hmm. you have to have a docs team uh you have to know what their what are their plans okay you're going to take my money is it going to a game okay what game like Mm -hmm. everyone is launching a game yeah Oh my God, at the moment, play to earn might as well, everyone might as well be doing it. You know what I mean? So it's like, you just have to do your due diligence. It's a, it's a company. Now Mm -hmm. Web3, now we were Web1, Web2, now we're Web3. The Web3, the ones that are going to emerge and do really well, like they say, 99% of projects are going to fail. Mm -hmm. Mine might fail. You never know, right? But it's not going to be the next Google or Apple, but the 99% of the companies that failed in in Web2, they didn't fail and disappear. They failed. Mm -hmm. They're still working, but they're not mega companies right same thing with nft these nft projects that have a purpose that have a backing that have utility will maybe not be the next google but will be something right yeah if you have something there you can kill it yeah it's important to understand why you want to be part of these communities as you say understand the team because nft is really ultimately they're smart contracts you're creating this community you're being part of something and as you say you always want to know where you see that going in the future. It's the same as owning cryptocurrency. Where do you see that token going? You have to have a reason behind it, which involves due diligence. It means making sure you're comfortable with what you're putting your money into. You wouldn't go around, you wouldn't buy a ticket for a concert that you don't think's ever going to happen. Or you don't know who's performing. Is that, yeah, like exactly. I'm, you know, like who's the CEO? Who's the performer? Like mm-hmm. you need to know these nitty gritty details before you put your money into it. Yeah, I mean, I feel like people feel like in that sort of web free space, they can take a risk and not really have to. And it's like, no, 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 there's no need to take a risk. You actually can find out a lot just by Googling, by understanding the project. It's not actually that hard. And especially if you're giving away free mints, I mean, you're not really, it, the people are just paying gas fees. They need to understand obviously what a gas fee is. That's why there's video content out there explaining NFTs. But it's really cool that you've done this in the bear market, which shows that you you really are building up to what's to come. So the thing is, people were doing free mints. Why was it a free mint meta? Because that was the only thing making money. So it's mm-hmm. all about getting as much hype as possible, right? These 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 rip-off uh, guys that are coming and just stealing money from people. Mm-hmm. Getting that hype up, getting the marketing, blah, 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 blah. Getting the floor price up, selling it, pump and dump with NFTs. Yeah. That's what they were doing. Now, why did we do a free mint? Because we were able to do a free mint. And then when people jumped in the Discord, oh, wait, there's actually a Discord. There's actually founders. There's actually tools in the Discord. There's a real roadmap. Wait a second. These guys are doing something. So we've invested our own time and money to be able to capture the people that want to free mint. And mm-hmm. now that we've got their attention, now we have, a, I mean, we've built so much in the last and two, three months. And what's some of your roadmap? Where are you going with your project? We've reached a nice milestone so far. So we've got our marketplace ready. Uh, we've got our staking ready to launch when our next okay. collection is launching. By the way, our next collection is launching next week. Oh, okay. Exciting. Our second collection. Or will which that is, be free mint as well? It's going to be free for the current Pixelated Ape holders. Okay. Um, and then the remainder, obviously not all. I'm sure there's always going to be holders that don't or something Once happened again, yeah. or they missed it or whatnot. Mm-hmm. The rest are going to go uh, for the average price, the average 30-day price, okay. sale price. And that, people can get on a whitelist now? People can get on the whitelist now. Okay, yeah. amazing. There's certain things you got to do and mm-hmm. uh, 
you know, in the Discord. But yeah, it's 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 still fairly easy. We got a week, so a few more days into into it, and then it's gonna be very difficult too. So if you can jump on, exactly. And so, what's some of the highlights? As you said, as part of your roadmap, your what are what is coming for your NFT? Well, we have our own token. Okay, okay. So you're gonna have a token. Okay. You've already launched now. It's launching the same day as oh, the yeah. Amazing. So all of that. Yeah. And what's the utility of having this token? Is it a mo- so it's Mo Money token? What, what it's is- uh, no, it's a Pixape token. Pixape token. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So uh, w- the utilities of the token is we also have st- many other NFT collections that are going to be also dropped and airdrop. Okay. Uh, and Web two and Web three perks that we're able to sell within the marketplace itself, mm-hmm. um, and just. Tons and tons of stuff. We're, you'll have to jump in the Discord. Okay, so I'll have to check get, it out. Yeah, yeah, check it out. Understand. And how does this relate to your day-to-day business? Like, where did this actually come this from? This is not my day-to-day so business. this is then completely so unrelated. I partnered with a Web3 enthusiast. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm Web2, mainly. Yeah. So I'm using my Web2 utilities and implementing them with our Web3. So there are also Web3 utilities that are going to be revealed at a later point as well. Right, Mo. So let's also chat about obviously your day job is more social media and, you know, growing influencers. So how do you think, you know, the crypto industry and influencers come together? What's the importance of them? I mean, the influencers take a massive role in, uh, I mean, as you could see, not only social media influencers like us, Mm -hmm. but the big boy influencers, the Kim, the Mayweather, the these guys that are promoting stuff and then not knowingly uh, the thing is is in the beginning when they were promoting nfts they didn't know what the hell nfts were and they were just getting paid to do it but then then you start getting cracked down same Mm -hmm. thing with cryptos like you start promoting things that you don't know much about and then it comes and bites you in the ass i yeah that's definitely the hard thing because it's it's that risk of how much due diligence can you do it's not like a product it's not like someone's giving you some makeup put it on your face and be like oh yeah the here there's a massive risk it's the risk element of it of things can collapse things can go wrong but then again same thing with a restaurant okay influencer mo money goes to a restaurant has an exp- an amazing experience eats the food does the stories guys i had an amazing experience a uh, lovely great a follower of mine goes the next day eats the dinner uh, and dies <laughs> okay wow dies. we went there let's do that yeah. right dies mm-hmm. ftx died this guy yeah. died whose it fault happened. is it yeah, it's is not- it my fault the influencer that promoted the restaurant and then that guy had a hair or something a virus that killed the per- no but Again, you also have to be very careful in crypto and NFT. It's so that it's balance. Like a, it's a yeah, it's that balance zone of thinking. Don't promote anything you wouldn't admit, protect, like invest in yourself. If you wouldn't put your money into FTX, you shouldn't be promoting it as an exchange. If you're not willing to take some risks, then you have to be careful as an influencer. I'm just trying to think as another example. Like, yeah, they play a massive role because at the end of the day, you can't promote. Especially when it's online, it's digital. You can't promote crypto and NFTs through with social media as much as you as the reach won't get there. Yeah, of course. You have to be careful of (laughs) what you're including, what you're not including. You can't promote as like Google ads are much more restricted for anything in crypto. So just like vapes, which Mm -hmm. are my biggest clients, crypto is a very big, uh, very big. So it's finding a subtle strategy behind promoting things. Subtle. I mean, they're not really that subtle. No, they're like got their lavish life. Buy this, buy this, but this is not financial advice. Like exactly but- showing the charts. Like this looks like it's coming next, but don't trust me. So it's tricky. It's a tricky question. It's a good one. Now I don't even know what to say. Because- yeah, I, th- I think anyone in the industry, it's it's that very hard boundary. Of, I always say I'm like I haven't got a crystal ball. I can't predict anything. And people are like, yeah, but you're in the crypto industry. Like, give us advice. And I'm like. I'm not telling you where to invest your money. That would go, again, it can go horribly wrong and I'm not willing to take that risk. No, no. I'm not I'm not here to give anyone CPR off the floor when it goes wrong. Like, That's what I'm saying. Eat your food on your own expense. <laughs> like, don't call but it... But everyone to- would always blame you, right? Any industry, if they don't, if they're not happy with something, they're all, it's always going to come, come back on you no matter what, right? So might as well just keep doing what you do, but do it smart and don't just try not to, to work with scams. I mean... Even when brands, regular brands reach out to me, I also just not web two, not web three. Yeah. I also have to find out who the brand is, who's behind it. Because if it's some crappy, uh, let's say if it's a phone brand yeah. that I go and I promote and my followers go and all buy it, 
and use it for a week and it breaks in their hands, you that'll feel, fall yeah, back on exactly, me. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Right? Even like mentally, you just don't want that to happen. You have a, Everyone has a conscience. You gotta be moral. You gotta be ethical. You gotta yeah, be an ethical exactly. influencer, which is there to, are some out there. Yeah. So find those, find the ones you trust and believe in and don't listen to us as if it's like stamped in stone, like just use that as guidance. Yeah, use- exactly. Realize that, you know, influencers are potentially being paid to do this or there's a reason why they're doing it and look into it yourself. Like go and, as you say, go and do the experience for yourself, judge it for yourself. Don't reflect it solely on the people you're watching online. And everyone shows a great lifestyle online. Even the normal person ups their lifestyle online, right? Like I, I we're all, we all, we all do it. 100%. So you can't then expect an influence if they are posting obscene stuff. That's just them upping what they're doing in everyday yeah, life. So I would say for influencers, use them as a, one of the factors you have using influencer marketing. You have obviously your macroeconomics, which is the main thing, right? So everything that they're saying is basically is just based off of what they're reading off the macroeconomics. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then you have the news, which is a lot of, a lot of the time crap. So the crap from the media, the crap could potential crap from the uh, news. Uh, and then you actually find out what's really happening in terms of numbers, in terms mm-hmm. of the Fed, the CPI, the income. I know it's a lot of stuff to learn, but if you actually dig deep and learn, and if you really want to invest money that your hard earned work money is, then do the damn work and yourself. do your research, yeah. do it yourself. Still use the fake news and the media and the influences and all the other noise mm-hmm. around you as guidance, but do the work learn it then you invest your money yeah then you have no one else to blame yeah exactly make decisions yourself so then as you say the only person that's accountable if you win make money if you lose money at least it's it's down to you and just use everyone for guidance like whether it be crypto influencers whether it be lifestyle influencers just see it a little bit more as as what it actually is rather than trying to clutch at straws thinking like that's what i want that's what i want to obtain how do i get it is financial advice <laughs> yeah this is financial this advice is... be careful with your hard-earned money don't waste your hard-earned yes. money um <laughs> because there's a plenty of opportunity especially in dubai to waste most of your hard-earned money yeah. and there's Just... a lot of money to be lost in crypto if you don't know what the hell you're doing exactly and there's a lot of money to be made if you actually are aware of the industry and as we're saying like it's having a belief in it as well like, we both believe in it you're doing things in the industry while things are not going great i'm talking about crypto when Crypto is a bit of a taboo subject at the moment. So go against the norm and question why everyone doubts things as well. That's why I'm not, I'm just not missing another 2008. Like there's no No. way. And it's like going down to that era and I'm like, yes. So it's just a matter of your risk tolerance. Are you gonna cry about it 10 years from now and say, oh my God, I had another chance. And, or are you going to actually risk something yeah and, and be proactive like really start g- getting to know the industry knowing what's coming next knowing about new projects that's coming out why are they important all these sort of questions people should be asking all the time anyway if you want to make money you've got to be inquisitive you need to keep working 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 yep. that's how you make money i mean your biggest asset is is what my mind so there you go yeah exactly most people don't always expect that when they first meet me so um it takes some time when i actually start explaining what i do that yeah they actually then like oh wow you're not just another one of them influencers that's just (laughs) putting stuff out there like some random picture saying oh buy crypto i'm like i'm the complete opposite i'm all about educating people and actually consent into people yeah good stuff exactly we're we're, 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 that's what we really are here for as well as uh, anyone in the industry you're trying to just help other people learn and see things in a different perspective we're not here just to either look good or just sound good. Well, you? hey, you have the best of all three worlds, so there oh, you go. I mean, go. I'm taking that, Mo. Yeah, there you go. You. You're welcome to come back anytime. <laughs> I mean, when the project launches, you can come back. We can talk about tokens. Done, 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 <laughs> done. I got you. I'll come back with an update, 100%. Perfect. That's what we need. Well, thank you so much for joining us. And yeah, I'm looking forward to the project coming out. And watch this space. We're not giving up on crypto, and we hope no one at home is either. Thanks, Mo. Thank you so much for having me, and we'll see you next time. Yes, for sure.